Hi, I'm Nevin McGuire and I'm here in Kenny's Bookshop in Galway. Delighted to be here in the west of Ireland and I want to thank them for the support they've always given me. From the age of 12 I've been cooking and I always wanted to be a chef. And I learned to supposed to cook from my mother. That's where I got my love and my passion for food. Me and my mother, like we worked together for over 20 years. So cooking and food has changed a lot. You know, as a chef and as an author, you always go for what people want, what they can make at home. Are the recipes easy? Can they get the ingredients? That's what we think about. This is my 12th cookbook. Yes, 12 cookbooks. I know I don't look that old. But yeah, it is my 12th cookbook, which I've just wrote. And um, the majority of them have been produced and published with Gillian McMillan. So it's all about having a good team around you. When we come up with an idea, this year's team is all about healthy recipes. So, I mean, food has changed so much and health is the buzzword now in cooking. This will tie in with a new cookery show, which I'm recording at the moment for RTE, which will be out in January. And that's nearly 100 programmes which I would have recorded for RTE, which I'm very privileged, very proud of. And I suppose it's all about thinking about what people cook at home. They want something fast. They want something nutritious. And I was just going to go through a couple of recipes that I've picked from the book, which are personal favourites of mine. So there's 100 recipes in the book and we have 80 food shots. So the way we work a book is that we started the whole process this time last year. All the recipes were tested by myself and three of my chefs in my cookery school last March. And that's where we do the food photography. We usually do 10 recipes a day. So we have food coming out our ears. We have the friends and neighbours and everyone coming for extra uh, food. And it's lovely that because you get to test recipes and if something doesn't work, you retest it. Food for me is all about trust and traceability, where our food comes from, to support our local shops, and that includes Kenny's Bookshops for the, for the books, of course, for produce for me as a chef, your local butcher, and cooking seasonal food. So as I said, this is all healthy. So this is a journey that I've really kind of become. I, you know me, I love butter, I love cream, but everything in moderation. It's all about using seasonal food. So one of my first recipes that I'm going to talk to you about is a recipe that I make a lot at home, but also my wife makes. And these are nutty energy bites. I've just earmarked the page here. So these are kind of like done with lots of nuts. There's Brazil nuts, pecan nuts, there's also cashew nuts, and you blend them up with pumpkin seeds. Then you warm up some uh, coconut oil, sweeten it with some honey, which is a natural sweetener. And then what I put into them is some dried cranberries, which I love, or you can use goji berries, whichever. Roll them in some toasted coconut, and they're just delicious. So instead of in the afternoon, if you get a little bit of hunger, you want something kind of sweet, instead of a Mars bar, a twig, something like that, this is what you go. So nutty energy bites. So this chapter is called Saintly Snacks. So in the afternoon, when you're a little bit hungry, you want something, you don't want a big, you've maybe had a little bite to eat for your lunch, you've missed your lunch, you want something that's quick. That's one of the recipes that I would recommend. So another one that I thought I'd share with you is a particular favorite of mine, and it's a pork goulash. So goulash is a Hungarian national dish. And this is it here, it's a one pot dish. So you have pork fillet, which is a very lean cut, always tender. So you go to your local butcher, he'll trim off any excess fat, but there really is very little fat in this. There's peppers, small paprika, there's can of tomatoes, there's a little bit of wine in this. So it's a one pot dish that will actually cook really well, very, very quickly in about 30 minutes, but also keeps in your fridge. Now, what I've served with this in the wee dish here is called cauliflower rice. So cauliflower may not be everyone's vegetable, but please try this. You get some cauliflower, you trim it up and you blend it in the food processor, and then you literally steam this in the steamer for about four minutes to six minutes, and it's done. So instead of using a carbohydrate to go with this, the cauliflower rice soaks up all the lovely juices, which I love. So this is a dish that you can make ahead. All the family will enjoy that. And whether you decide to serve it with cauliflower rice or plain rice, it's totally up to you. So every chapter has five recipes, and I suppose what we're trying to get away with is, um, I suppose, to, to, to move on from, from using as much cream and butter, that healthier, using different spices, like, you know, we have a chapter on eggs and beef and fish, but also on people's dietary requirements, wheat fee, gluten-free, low-fat recipes, which is and dairy-free. So these are all different, um, I suppose, recipes that people want to cook at home. This is another one that we cook in the cookery school which I opened up a year and a half ago and this is a pork uh, curry but it's done with a red uh, Thai curry and sweet potato. So we're coming into the season now, pumpkins are in season, you can make this with butternut squash I make this regularly and it's so delicious. This can be made and start to finish in 25 minutes. So it's something you can make extra. We're using some pork, you can use beef, you can use chicken, you can use turkey, which is a very low fat meat and very, very good value. Serving that with some rice, one pot dish. We're using really good organic coconut milk from a company from Ireland called Tygo. Look them up, they're absolutely wonderful. Probably the um, trickiest chapter for us was the desserts and bacon, if I'm being honest with you. And this is where I came up, well, discovered a new ingredient called coconut sugar, which I'd never used before. It's a natural sugar. You'll get it in any health food shop will sell it. 
It is more expensive, it's slightly uh, sweeter, slightly caramelized, it's totally natural, and you use less of it. So that's the secret. Also in this uh, recipes for the desserts, we've used maple syrup and we've also used some honey. So they're all natural. So we've kind of cut back from the refined sugars. That's what people want. They don't want to be using that. So I'm going to share two recipes with you. The first one is a rice pudding. And this one is a coconut mango and lemon rice pudding. This is something I made for my twins who are two, three and a half twins, boy and a girl, Connor and Lucia. And sometimes I don't give mango, I do a little bit of sliced banana, finish it with a little bit of honey. But this is done with pudding rice, some coconut milk, there's a little bit of vanilla, lime zest in it and lemon zest if you want, or, or both. And then what we do is just finish it with some fruits. There's no sugar in this. So it's a really, really good one that the family can enjoy. Rice pudding, it's hard to beat. Now another one on the bacon chapter is, it's kind of like a coffee cake. Now this is delicious. And what we've done is we've caramelized the nuts. There is butter in this, I'm gonna be honest with you. There is certainly some butter, but everything in moderation. You just eat a smaller slice. So um, butter is a natural uh, fat again, and it's a fat that people say now is good for you. In Germany, they eat three times the amount of butter than we do in Ireland, and we produce our own butter here. It's all made from grass, you know, the summer grass, grass-fed cows. That's why we have such great dairy produce. So this is a lovely kind of cake and bacon, I suppose, getting your kids into bacon. I think that's really, really important. But getting them into cooking, like our twins now are three and a half, so we're trying to maybe make some juices with them. And actually, that's a chapter that's in the book. It's one of the first chapters is juices. Uh, one favourite juice of mine is the beetroot, orange, apple and pear juice, um, which I love. So beetroots are in season. Uh, also what I put into this at home is celery, uh, fennel, so you're kind of getting lots of vegetables into your diet. We use a cold press juicer, which is a little bit more expensive but definitely worth investing and it's a great investment. I always put ginger into a juice because it gives a lovely kind of flavour to it. Very good for your throat and digestion, so really, really important. So this isn't a diet book. That's the most important thing. This is a book that you'll use. It's real food, everyday food that all the family can enjoy. And I think there's something in it for everyone. Like, I'll just go through a couple of the chapters that we've already spoken about, but just to remind you what's in the book. So we have our juices and our soups. One of my favourite soups in this is a butter bean soup. And the butter beans are done with smoked bacon, ginger, garlic, and you put in turmeric, which is very good, you know, for your winter flus and different things of like that. Also a little bit of curry powder and it's finished with stock and some semi-skimmed milk. It's delicious. If people realised how easy it was to make soup, they would definitely make it and bring it to work. Saintly snacks, low carb lunches, lunch boxes, that's always a struggle. And it's always a question I'm asked. So we have some wraps, open sandwiches, crisp bread, lettuce cups and pita bread. So there's lots of some choice there for all the family. We have a full uh, section on, on salads, fish recipes, chicken of course, your pork, your beef and your lamb. Vegetarian, very, very popular. Some eggs. And then an interesting chapter called Take Away My Way. So instead of uh, going to your local takeaway, you're ordering, you know, you, you order and it's there in about 20 minutes or whatever. Try and make your own. You'll definitely save money and you'll know what goes into it. And that's the secret into cooking at home, buying less processed foods so you can control the amount of sugar, the amount of salt and the amount of additives. So just getting back, cooking basic things, absolutely basic things. We have a chapter on Amigo 3, which is fantastic for your brain and for your development. Very, very important. Wheat free, dairy free, refined sugar free, which I mentioned earlier on. And then a kid's favourite chapter, which is fantastic. You know, we have little fruit lollies and that peanut butter and banana kind of toast sandwiches. Just very simple recipes. So I hope you enjoy this and um, my, my, my thanks to Kelly's Bookshops for their support because this is my 12th book and when I started cooking I never th thought that I would have 12 good books but as I said it's down to a good team. Gilla McMillan, Joanne Murphy is the photographer, she does beautiful work and when you can see a dish you really, you get hungry of course but you want to make it and you want to recreate and you want to say I want it like that and that's so important. So enjoy it, happy cooking and thank you for asking me to do this online video and I wish them continued success. 75 years uh, in business, it's a great success story and they have been hugely supportive to me as an author and I wish them continued success. Happy cooking.